Yo, what is up, guys? Green Light Gaming here. Today, we're going to see if we can build a Dell Optiplex GX620 USFF. Alright, guys, just to let you know, this entire computer was around $40, so I'm going to call this video, I'm going to entitle this video $40 PC. Um, yeah, so basically, this is all the stuff I got, all the towers, everything, and I'm going to build it. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, guys, the motherboard we have here is called the Dell Optiplex GX620 USFF MH4153. Um, this motherboard is pretty small. Um, it doesn't have any power supply or anything. It doesn't have any GPU slot, it doesn't It doesn't even have a graphics card, like, try to locate the graphics card, ready? Exactly, there isn't one, or, there should be, like, normally it comes right off of the VGA port, do you see where that leads to? Look, look under it, do you see it? I know that's not it. Yeah, there is no graphics card, there's no internet card either. But this does run on Wi-Fi, so I don't. I have not located that. Um, at least I think it runs on Wi-Fi. I'm actually not sure. Look at this heatsink, though. All right, let's let's get into building it. Also, a couple more parts I have here. I have some. I think this is a DDR2. This is 512 megabytes of RAM. And both of them. I think it's DDR2 or DDR3. If I get that wrong, apologize. So I have two of those. And those go into the RAM slots there. Uh, heat sink. Here is the Intel Pentium 4, which clocks in at 2.8 gigahertz. Um, yeah, hard drive. Alright, let's see if we can put this together. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure these are open and slide the two RAM sticks into place. So, you're going to want to make sure it's nice and in that socket and aligned up. And you're going to want to push down some force. Oop, sorry about that guys. Looks like I just slapped you across the face so once that basically is in, push it down until it clicks into place on both sides. And now that's clicked into place, so now that RAM is secured. And we need to do that one more time with this one. So let's slide that in. Okay, now now, now we have our RAM right there in place, and let's move on to the CP. Alright guys, once again, we have an Intel Pentium 4. So what you're going to want to do is take this little thing, uh, this little CPU socket holder thingy. You know, I don't know why I'm struggling right now, because my hand was on a power compressor. Pull this uh, lever to the side, and then pull it up, and that lifts it up. And then you can just... Whoa, sliding everywhere. And then take your CPU and make sure it is aligned with the little joints on the edge until it fits nice and snug then latch it back up and then now, now your CPU is secure and in place okay, then, okay the next thing we're going to do is put it in this um, little bottom kind of face plate type thing that I got here so what you do for this is as you can see all the ports are right there and then all the ports that look like they fit from here. So I'm gonna slide right into those DMs, or whatever you whippersnappers call it these days, and make sure it's nice and secure. Check the edge, make sure all the ports are okay, and then you should be good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so as when I put that on, the motherboard wasn't attached to it. So, I marked black area here, and here, I'm where I put these big screws. I think they go in now. I don't know, let's try it out. And then, I normally apply them with more force with like a wrench, but now, I'm just hand screwing it in, off video. So they go right there, and right there. I always mark it with Sharpie. Be right back. Alright guys, so I got it actually pretty tight. Um, I use this cobalt wrench thing yeah so now I'm going to work on the say uh, 
forget what it's called. Heat sink holder. So we're going to put the heat sink holder in just like that. And make sure it sinks to these power. Um, so they don't get moved. And then we're going to take our long black screws. This should be the long ones, I don't know why. And a Phillips head screwdriver. And install them, just like so. Crap, I just dropped it. That's why it's good to have a magnet. Alright. Put that one in right there. Alright guys, now I'm actually going to go get some thermal paste so we can actually attach the actual heat sink. Oh, that thing is Alright guys, so we don't know how much I actually needed, so I just whipped up a, or I got just a spoonful, and I'm going to apply it to the CPU here. Okay. Put this down on the table. And now we're going to apply the heat sink. Alright, so I don't know if you got that, but basically you push that in right there and then you pull that back. You just put it on, but you have to make sure the heat pipes are facing out. So I don't know if I recorded that or not, but that won't budge. Now your heat sink is actually attached to your um, CPU. Move this thermal paste out of the way. Put this on my bed. I'm just joking. Um, yeah, now it's actually starting to look like a PC. Let's move on to the next part. Next part, plug in the fan. Um, I only have one fan because I turned the other one into a USB fan, so I'm debating whether I'll put it in the front just because I'm like that. So, how I think you put the fan in is I think it's supposed to have feet. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the feet on here. My crusty, dusty, musty, rustic fan from 2006. Eh, I guess that's kind of secure because I don't feel like putting the next little feet on. You know, plug that in right there. There should be a slot right to next to the heat sink. Uh, I don't think a PC needs to move. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, next step. I forgot. I have to put the heat sink in the fan. I'm going to wait. Yeah. This is when you take two, uh, two or three, I forget, yeah, two, two of these screws and apply them here and here right up by the RAM so they can secure to the keyboard. And then this is when you actually do this. I, you, you take this and you plug it in right there. There's a little plug in the front. Pretty easy. Just plug that in right there. Make sure that's secure. Screw that in, and we'll be right back when I'm. Okay, guys. So right after you screwed in the hard drive uh, holder thing, this is when you actually slide the case in. I already have it kind of preset for you. If you can, I th think this is supposed to go under. Uh, if you can, good. It, it really, it doesn't matter if it doesn't. Um, yeah. Now we're gonna install the hard drive. Okay, basically for the hard drive. Hold up. I'm sorry, this camera works horrible. I don't know, I, I just... I love that sound. Anyway, basically for the hard drive, you're going to want to slide it and make sure these two little blue slots click into place. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, that Now, af after you slide this in, screw, do the... do the four screws, one, two, three, four, and yeah. Alright guys, now we're actually, actually, now, because I screwed up last time, gonna do the four screws, 
you really don't have to watch. I'm gonna probably fast forward this. Yeah. Okay, guys, for the hard drives, there's actually two cables here and here. That one's signal and that one's power. Er, no, this one's power and that one's signal. Signal goes to there. Power goes all the way back here. So, I'm basically, I'm just gonna plug that in for you guys. Basically, this this is what the signal cable looks like. Er, no, power. Why can't I, why can I not say that? So, you're going to want to put that in. Um, it's better if you have this in before actually because then you could like actually run that under around the GPU into the back um, it plugs in right there you plug that in nope wrong side and yeah and then you have the signal no power I can't I can't talk I'm sorry I'm actually sorry that I can't talk. I always run that around. Down. Let's hope the GPU doesn't melt it. Always hope your GPU does not melt your hard drive power cable. Yeah, it's not touching it. It should be good. And then plug it in right there. Okay, now we're gonna install this tiny signal cable. Basically, this little, little signal cable goes from this blue end here and it plugs in right into there and now your signal cable from your hard drive to your PC is all set um final thing to do this is complete oh no we're not done yet I have one more thing to show you guys also this is completely optional also this is little speaker that I just slid into that slot and that basically it's plugged in right here. If I can even reach there. Alright, there we go. And I'll just press it down. So it's clicked into place. And there you have it. Um, this one last option that's totally optional. You could put this little um, heat sink to fan case over, but I don't like that. And yeah, if you guys did this right, yeah, you know, I did it right, shake it like that, upside down, it all stays there. You just built yourself a Dell Optiplex GX620. UCFF is, it's ultra small form factor, which is why this does not actually have a power supply. This normally you have another fan here, blowing air out the back, but since this is just the case that I got, um, yeah. The power supply actually hooks up like an Xbox. It plugs in right here, it runs out, it has like a brick, and then that plugs into the wall. You can get this for like 11 bucks on Amazon, and yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. And I'll tell you this, this isn't, um, this could be a gaming PC if you upgraded the, if you upgraded the RAM to up to like 6 gigs, and you upgraded the, how, upgraded the hard drive and the speed, I guess this could be a gaming PC, I guess. It just wouldn't be a good one, because it doesn't have a GPU, or it does, but it doesn't have a graphics card, it has a chipset. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Don't forget to share this video to all your friends, and as always. Peace out.